So I am currently heading downtown Dallas to go meet up with um, two of my coworkers that I met when I first moved to Dallas. But we haven't hung out in months, probably like five, six months. So I'm gonna go hang out with them today. Well, tonight right now it's 10.08. I was supposed to be at the place from 10 o'clock and I'm 35 minutes away from the place because I, I live far. So I'm at the head to go hang out for a bit. Um, try to be back home before one o'clock because I'm a early bird. Um, I try to be in my bed at a decent time, even if I don't go to sleep. I like to be in my house, in my bed, you know, at a decent time. So, you know, hopefully it's not like too lit because I'm not gonna wanna leave, but then I gotta think about the stupid drive I need to take. So I'm about to head and go hang out with a couple of friends. Stupid. So yeah. Okay, it would be me to full, okay? So that yellow banana that you see at the bottom, that's the swing flipping over, not once, but twice. And I just wanna say this, it wasn't the Patron. It wasn't the Patron. Maybe a little bit, but the swing was slippery, okay? It was freezing outside. The swing was slippery. And you know, I just wanna thank God for the waiter, because he helped me. today your girl was invited to go to a dallas Mavs game um my friend lauren she texted me and said that she wasn't feeling good and then she had an extra ticket to go to the Mavs versus i think the knights i don't know the team but i didn't want to go just because i am going to the knicks versus the Mavs on the ninth and i'm like i don't want to go back to back to a basketball game but i'm like listen the ticket is free Ain't nothing else to do. It's a Saturday. So right now, I'm about to cook me some breakfast and get ready to go because it is, you see, this is, this is why I need, I need new stuff because why my potato not cutting? So I'm about to cook me some breakfast, get dressed and head out the house.
needed to the center before Jasmine and Stephanie did. So I just chilled outside and I was just recording some of the, you know, of the arena because I've never been to the American Airlines Center since I've been living out here. So it's, it's huge. The drink is called Little Larry's, but the spot is called Hot Hot Daddy. But and they got uh, they, the crazy one. They got Big Larry's too. We don't fuck with the Big Larry's. We like the crazy. Little, part, we like Little Larry's. The they put the same shot of Grandma A in the Big Larry's in the Little Larry's. It's the margarita. But the margarita that be strong. Yeah. And then a little, then a, then a Grandma A just make it ten times better. <laughs> so. We're currently in Addison, so let me open the closet. We in Addison, so we about to leave and go to Walmart real quick. So let's rewind this real quick. I want to go back to the first time Hanifa came out here and I brought her two little Larry's. So this is the first time I saw Hanifa in a couple of months and we were just so excited to see each other we went straight to drinking and I had no food on my stomach. So usually like, you know, back then I would have ate a burger or some chicken wings or something heavy to soak up the liquor. This time I only had french fries and the french fries, it didn't do me no justice. I got really drunk and I didn't feel it until we got back to the hotel and I, I let it loose, okay? Throw up everywhere all over their room and the good thing was it was inside the hotel wasn't outside but i got so sick that hanifa had to drive my car all the way home and you know it was a great first night but i was so skeptical of drinking for the rest of the time that she was out here just because i didn't want to get myself you know sick how i was the night before but Little Larry's, those drinks, they are dangerous. If you guys ever come to Dallas, please go to Hop Daddy and be mindful of how many Little Larry's you order because you don't want to be like me. Michelle's Kitchen. Hey, you want to show them what you're cooking? Yeah. Yo, that shit smells so good. You know what's crazy? When I made mines, I had to put mines in a refrigerator so it could get, like, you know. What, stiffen up? Yeah. Like I told you, I added.
downstairs taking pictures. We about to go outside. Hanifi is taking pictures for the Grizzlyum. I want her to move here. I need, listen, I need, somebody gotta move here. I can't do this. Like this, or put it like how it was. You have to look nice. I love that. Those three fishes I took, those shits look nice. Say how hot this, this thing goes. She said, all right, let's go. You ready? <laughs> let's be over here, girl, I'm cold. I'm cold. when i say this sushi was so good first of all we didn't even know that all the sushi was gonna come we thought it was gonna be like four pieces of each but it was so good <laughs> so hanifa got a white peach sake so that's how it look you gotta shake it up Mm -hmm. They don't give you cups, they give you two shot glasses. So we're gonna take a shot and see what it's hitting for. So once you come downstairs, you're now entering the nude part of the spa, which was the highlight of us coming here. You know, we enjoyed it. It was so relaxing, so refreshing. We got to connect on so many levels, had great conversations. Listen, we planned to go to the club that night. We met some girls, but afterwards, me and Hanifa was so drained. We planned on coming to the spa for probably two hours top. We was there for almost five hours, so yes.
the fact that I have a lot of friends and I'm very close to my family, it's very hard to see you guys leave, you know? I'm very sad that you're gone, Hanifa. That's okay! She'll be back. This is a Brooklyn-bound four train. The next stop is Borough Hall.